In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some really simple, easy tulips. And I'm gonna start with this bright pink color. I'm using Opera Rose. And these are meant to be very, very loose. So I'm just kind of picking up new colors as I go. You wanna work quickly so that the paint can really blend together. If you wait too long in between these colors, they're not going to bleed together, which is okay. If you want colors to bleed together though, you need to move quickly. So the shape we're going for with these tulips is kind of a rounded petal shape here at the bottom, and then they're just kind of roughly and loose here at the top. Some of your tulips might be a little more closed at the top. And then to help define that shape, you want to leave just a little bit of white space in between uh, your first little petal shape and then where you add a second stroke. So let me do that one more time. It's kind of like a football shape almost, but this side is unfinished. And then that second little stroke, I'm leaving just a teeny bit of white space to help give that uh, shape some definition. You can even go back and tap in some of your color. But play around with, with colors. See what kind of colors you can get. Okay, now we're going to add in our stems and leaves. And I've got sap green. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of hooker's green as well. And you really do wanna wait until these are dry so that the green doesn't blend in. I'm gonna wait just another second see some of these are dry but these down here are not and I don't want to accidentally bump those so I'm gonna wait just a minute and I'll be right back okay these are dry for the most part so I'm gonna start where it makes the most sense so they're all gonna kind of come down to a center point here and tulip leaves are kind of long and stretched out. Now I'm varying the green just slightly with every single one by adding a little more water or a little more paint.
Okay, and that's everything. Pretty simple. If you try out this tutorial, post a picture over on Instagram and be sure to tag me at Snowberry Design Co. And then use the hashtag Snowberry Tutorial. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks again for watching. Bye!